Before we start this video, a special thanks goes out to David and Xavier from Percussion, and of course to the legend that is Paul Childerly. guys, welcome to the gun shop. We arrived here in Bedfordshire last night. It's actually a really nice part of the world. Um, never spent too much time here. And we're here today, by the way, to shoot Driven Pheasant. Driving onto the chute and into the shoot yard, there are so many Chinese water deer. They're like rabbits. Not a lot more I have to say about that, apart from, I'm sure you'll see a few today. Anyway, without further ado, let's get suited and booted. Right, good morning, welcome. We're not shooting on this shoot today, we're shooting on the other shoot, which is a buttermilk shoot. Um, it's about 10 minutes away, other side of Woven. The plan of the day is go across there, we do some drives over there, have, a, have a, some, some nibbles and, and champagne in the field, and then back here at the end of the day for lunch. Logistics side, we consist of the 10 guns, we're moving up three from the right, once you're on your peg, you're live. No foxes, please, no grand game, please shoot safely. If there's a woodcock, you're more than welcome to shoot at it if you want to eat it or give it to somebody, or it's a really exceptional bird. Right. So we draw numbers. Offer them first, I'll be in, <laughs> be in trouble, won't I? You'll probably need your young eye. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? What number are you? Eight. Yeah, I can about reach you. I can stretch down to you. Right, okay, ladies and gents. If you want to no, no, no. grab all your kit and we'll um, make a move. Paul Tildley. That was brilliant. I don't know if you guys probably feel the same. When a new team of guns is together, nobody knows how fast other people shoot, what sort of birds is acceptable to shoot, first time on a new shoot as well. So, you know, you're not really sure of what, what standard of birds to expect. When you can stand on a drive like this, realizing that it is, it's not too flat, but you know, there's not a huge valley in front of us. I can expect the birds to be average. You know, I think good to sort of 25 to 30 yards minimum. We're just gonna take it easy. So the beaters are coming in from behind us. I guess they're going to push it in here and push it out over us. Uh, genuinely, I love watching drives come together. It really does. It fills me with joy. Um, watching beaters work, watching the keeper, watching everybody kind of do their jobs bit by bit. It fills me with joy. It really does. Oh, well, there's a mark for what the day's going to be like. First bird on the floor, one shot, one kill. So looking at the way that drive started, I never would have pegged that actually this was probably one of the best pegs. I must admit that I did shoot a few out behind other people, but I was always taught that 40 yards out is as good as 40 yards up. And I won't feel guilty for it. Although I do feel a little guilty.
Well, that's the end of the second drive today so far. Just had the two birds come over, two good kills. Well happy with that. Look forward to the third drive. with some interesting sport through the trees, couldn't they? Yeah. That was a nice little drive. I was still made up after the first. I mean, the birds weren't particularly exceptional, but it was a nice woodland drive, a real classic pheasant drive. And um, accordingly, some pheasants died, as I'm sure you just saw. Bit of a quiet drive there, but it's been an excellent day so far. Some very good birds. And a pleasure watching John shooting so well. well I thought you were standing in that blue bin, so I thought I'd best drop it you. That would have been a really unhappy oh, well, person. Bits, you know, all head back up to the vehicles. <laughs> Five to ten with me, please. So I was never a stick person. And then Nick Horton, the first time I went wild family, like a year ago, gave me this stick, uh, which was very kind of him. And you might tell, I've actually started using it. There you go, Johnny Carter, stick convert. But my cartridge bag is not muddy. I can hang my hat. There's this thing about being a bat gun, uh, that actually you see all the best birds and sometimes they get shot and sometimes they don't get shot. It's always good to watch, watch everyone miss and then shoot the bird. However, when they hit it, you don't get to shoot it. So it's, I don't know, I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy watching people shoot. That's all I can say. All right, whistle's blown, drive's over, empty the gun out, cartridge in the pocket, pick up the empties. Rest of the team this way, please. Bird <laughs> <laughs> from the wood in front. Perfect. If you pop one through the window, Perfect. you pay the glass. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Please have that on video. Please have that on video. Yes. Yes. Don't worry. He might bear witness to turn around and have a look at all these windows whilst they're still complete. I'm fairly well known for having absolutely zero luck. And those windows are big. And I have a feeling that they want some double glazing. <laughs> Thank you.
So this drive isn't over, but it is almost over. And it's been literally dancing with the devil the whole damn drive. So they said if you smash a window, it's 50 quid. Uh, so the drive started, the start, the start the drive. Firstly, Paul Childerly came and we had a conversation. And I tell you what, I'm overwhelmed. I am well, not, I'm not underwhelmed by his presence. Not overwhelmed, but I am genuinely, I'm made up. Such a really nice chap. Not only do you have the pressure of shooting the birds, you've got to shoot them out early enough, but then at the right height so they don't crash into the building. So I've been dropping stuff over the building, to the right of the building, and two unbelievably damn close to the windows. Anyway, that was probably, it's up there in the top, one of the top drives of my life. I spoke to Paul Childerly, I shot well in front of Paul Childerly, I feel like a right child. I'm, I'm totally made up. Totally made up. What a brilliant day. And I'm pretty sure that is us done. So that was an absolutely fantastic day and it's pretty much mostly in thanks, well both of those guys over there, but to the guy who sat across the table from me, which is like life changing. This is Paul Tilderley. If you don't know who he is, you probably don't watch YouTube. <laughs> um, but it's a real honour to meet you, finally. That's, like, that's, uh, no, pleasure. Pleasure's all mine really. No. Like, genuinely one of my role models. Oh, and thank you. Go. And I put that on the table. Yeah, it's, that's uh, nice to hear actually. Nice to hear actually because it's, it's, it's nice for me to have you young guys out. Um, doing digital media, doing sort of the new style of, of getting stuff out there, um, which is I think is important. Well, you got you were really part of the pioneering force in that in field sports, which is yeah, we put a neck on it a little bit because right. obviously you know when you put your face out there, people like to criticise and, yeah. and uh, but but what I find it's really good for for, for teaching people yeah. about what we're doing and how correctly we're doing or or you know we we. we the truth of it. Yeah, yeah it's, what's, it's what's behind the scenes. Positive propaganda, yeah, I suppose. Definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. Do you enjoy cameras? There you go. Interview question one. Oh my Do you enjoy God. being in front of the camera? No. Really? No, no I, I, I am what I am. I, I think I've got my voice. I'm, I, I've got a Gloucestershire voice. And if I listen to myself back, I, you know, I think I cringe. Um, but I am what I am. I look like I look. You're very well spoken. I've got a big, big, big nose, big fist. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, you know, I do it for business basically, um, to promote my business, for the stalking and with the, with the game shooting. Um, and you know, as, as well, the products I, I use, I have used, it's like all the products I like, used before I started getting um, recognised. Yeah. Like, I'm not famous, so I'm recognised. You've been all over the world. Not Where yet. Try you, and. You've been to a larger portion of the world than I. Yeah. Where is the best place? What is, what is the favourite shoot or favourite hunt you've ever done? Chinese water deer. Obviously. <laughs> Just out the back there. <laughs> um, favourite hunt. Do you know what? I've been to some really strange places. I like the really old traditional places where, um, it, like going back in time. Not overly commercial. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not big on commercial stuff. Um, Slovenia this year was really good. Eastern Cape was really good because it was a, a, a farmer's um, uh, it's like a state farm. Yeah. So that was really good. So like seeing the real life behind the, like the scenes. Um, Romania was good because that was like going back in time a hundred years. Still being, you know, taken around in horse and cart. That was amazing. Oh, that was good. Um, love the traditional side of the, the driven hunts in, in Germany. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's probably some of the best hunting I've done and yeah. most exciting hunting. So driven boar is up there in your... For me now, yes. Yeah. I mean, when I first started, my father's a gamekeeper, <coughs> excuse me, and um, so I've been exposed to game shooting all my life and I've done you know, everything from grouse to walked up snipe driven snipe, big driven game days, um, and I've enjoyed them all. Um, but I still think now, if I had a choice of all of them, I really would go boar shooting. Now I've experienced them all. So out of everything you haven't done, here's the next question, yeah, yeah. out of everything you haven't done, what's number one and number two? I think, for me, anything that's hard work and justified. So no matter what it is, 
big or small, if it's something that needs to be cold for a management reason, too old, too young, too whatever, too many, too many um, and earn it yeah. and eat it. That's sort of like the, the justification of it all, which, which, which again brings it more of a purpose when you actually do it and it gives you more of a feel. You've earned it. Yeah, you've earned it. So it's just really pleasurable and also meeting the people involved in it, like the guys today, it's nice to meet different people and they like it because they, you know, again, they're, they're different people in the industry, um, which makes the day of it, isn't it? And that's, what, that's what it's all about, really. Very much so. The questions everyone obviously wants. What is your favourite calibre? 20 to 50. What is your favourite completely deer legal calibre? 243. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your favourite rifle? Seiko. Which model? You've well, obviously shot a few now. Yeah. Um, Around the world. I like. The 85 stainless because it's a tool. Yeah. Everybody can use it, whether it's a beginner, somebody that's been used to a blazer or a, or a star all their life and they never ever want to, you know, change. They come here as a client. There you go. Safety, click, tip, light trigger, yeah. Gosh, yeah, job done. So it's an easy using caliber. Yeah, you still see rifles as tools. You're not a gear fanatic in that sort of sense. I look after my rifles. Yeah, I do look after them, but they are, they are tool for the job. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Mate, it is literally being one of the best days of my life meeting you. I genuinely oh, that sounds cool. really sad. How much we should talk about your shooting on the last drive? We can if you like. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, I thought. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. As you saw on the last drive, uh, and we started, I, I, I met Paul for the first time there, like properly, actually, Shukazan, and confessed my love to him. <laughs> uh, and uh, it was great. Pretty much, uh, you yeah. can tell the rest of that story. Well, uh, and, and we were there chatting away, and um, a pigeon did appear, and I did shout over, and I wasn't expecting much from this man here, but he performed, <laughs> knocked out at the sky. <laughs> and uh, no, I thought, I tell you the truth, I thought you shot amazing there, actually, oh, apart from the last two. Oh. But that's acceptable. That was acceptable, because I think you shot, must have shot like six out of six to throw it off. And yeah, then, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, that no, was good, very good shooting. No, thank you very much, and, I genuinely was, I, I was made up. Like, I was like, so next to a hero, Pippi comes over, I hit it, I, you tell you, you walked off, I had the biggest smile on my yeah, face yeah, I've had all the time. I was yeah. like, yeah, I didn't embarrass done, yeah. myself completely. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm a complete loser, it's amazing. You didn't put one through the window either, so it's perfect. I did try. <laughs> I did try. <laughs> <laughs> it so, right, thank you very much. No, today. pleasure. It's been such a pleasure meeting no, you, and I'm sure you. we'll see you again. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, at Ewa, hopefully. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Have a beer in Ewa, yeah. Sounds good to me, mate. Brilliant. And we'll see you next time.